Hey folks. Um, well, like in some of the past videos I've done recently where we've uh, kind of uh, taken apart some of the relays, some of the electrical stuff, fixed them up, plated things, kind of really reconditioned original parts. Um, we're going to take another tact on that too, and we're going to address horn issues. What makes these things go beep? Um, just, you know, we're going to go over where some of the possible failure points are and how it all really works. So follow along. Well, first thing we need to understand is how is it wired, right? Well, by the schematic, the horn relay, it gets power to the relay from the starter relay, which comes directly from the battery. So it's constant power to the horn relay. Output, when activated, out the dark green wire, goes straight to the horns. So this black wire coming into the horn relay, that provides the ground, which activates the horns. And where does that black wire come from? That comes all the way back to your signal switch, to this wire right here. This is a little uh, copper wheel, spring-loaded, because this sits on the contact ring on the back side of your steering wheel. And it doesn't matter if you have the, a standard steering wheel or a sport wheel, it's the same on both sides. That is connected with a wire up to your horn switch, is what this is. Um, and it, again, it doesn't matter if you have the sport wheel, which goes on top of this, or you have the, uh, the other standard steering wheel. It's all the same. So what are some of the common failure points? Well, we know this is this can be a problem with the cam cancelers for the signals, but not so much for this. But if this is corroded, if this spring is broken, it's not pushing up against the back side of the steering wheel, this could be one possible failure point. Corrosion here, obviously, could be one spot. Um, connectors, bulkhead connectors, those are obvious first places to check. Um, your relay itself, how the terminals look on that, easy things to check, right? Easy to clean up and fix. But what if it's worse than that? What if we've done all that and it still doesn't work? Um, let me disconnect this real quick. We've done all that, still doesn't work. Well, another common failure point is on the back side of your steering wheel, where this is supposed to ride right here, like this. That's corroded. You're not making contact. That, that signal to ground to the relay is not getting there. This needs to be cleaned. And to do that, the steering wheel does need to come off. Sad to say, it is what it is. So if you're putting on a new steering wheel, if you got it off, clean that up before you put it on. Um, the wire, perhaps this wire is corroded here again, um, frayed. Maybe it's not attached very well back here. Those are things to check. The most common thing, however, is the actual horn button itself. Now this is a three, three parts plus springs that actually make the connection. So this is a wire that goes through here, one piece, and the contact to ground is made to this, which is bolted to here. This has to be contacting ground, so this has to also be clean as well, so it can make its ground. So what does that look like? Well, they're not hard to take apart. You have six tabs. First thing is you take these three inner tabs here, here, and here. Bend them up carefully, and then you can separate it. And then you take these tabs off, and then the top piece comes off. Now you want to be careful. I've already disassembled this one because it's broken. There are springs that are inside here. So be careful when they come apart. Doesn't matter where they go, they're all the same. And that's what you have. So when you're moving the horn button to blow the horn, this is what's making contact. This is connected to here, right? This is bolted down to here. And when you hit the horn button, the springs allow it to go beep, 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 
and then the springs push it back up to, to its resting position. So nine times out of 10, if all the other things you've checked are clean, making good contact, you've checked the continuity through, it's good. Chances are this is broken because this is common and it needs to be replaced with a, a good one. If you can find a replacement, um, probably in another video, I'm gonna try and repair this, put this back together, put it on the shelf. I don't know because it's kind of, because of the springs, it's twisted, it's tweaked, it might not even work, but I've seen worse where these pieces are in four different chunks. So that's pretty much it. That's your horn system in a nutshell. One other thing to check when you're reassembling all of this back into your, your, your steering wheel assembly is you have these three standoffs. That allows the horn button to be mounted directly up against the steering wheel while allowing the outer ring to move on the springs to make the inside contact. So when you're reassembling this, you want to make sure that once it's bolted down, this moves freely. It's not binding on these standoffs. And if it is, you know, loosen up all three of these, give it a little wiggle, and snug them back down. And you might even want to put a little bit of uh, lubrication in there, maybe a little uh, white lithium spray grease or something like that, something that's going to keep it lubricated uh, so it's moving right. Well, that's it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot to the horn system, but uh, these are truly the most common culprit of horn system failures. Um, corrosion, obviously these cars are older. All the connections need to be checked. Bulkhead, the connector for the, the uh, turn signal switch down below the steering column, all of that first. I mean, those are easier things to check before you start pulling the steering wheel off and checking the, uh, the back side of the, the horn ring and whatnot. So that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, see you again soon. Thanks.